Really, it was my friends that got me involved in football. I spent most of my life playing soccer and basketball. You know, my parents coming over from Nigeria, the sport that they were familiar with was soccer, so I spent my whole life playing that until I got into seventh grade and they started having football tryouts and my friends told me to come out and see what I was made of. I didn't get a chance to play with any Pee Wee football, so I just kind of went out there and coaches liked what they saw. Well, basically, I was born with a heart murmur, which is a irregular heartbeat and you know my parents were real worried about it come my freshman year so they ended up making me quit the football team which I did and then about two weeks after that two games into the season you know I had a, little, a whole lot of guys talking about how they needed me and wanted me to come back so I ended up coming back to the team but I told my parents I was a manager you know I, I got a love for the game and I wanted to make sure I can keep playing and you know I ended up doing really well on the field and that was just convincing me to keep going. My senior year, my parents got real worried about it and they ended up telling me I would need a surgery and, and they didn't know when they were gonna do it. They thought I was gonna have to miss half the season or some of the season, I ended up doing after the season. So fortunately, I was able to have that surgery and get a chance to be healthy for people to start recruiting me and I came up here and really enjoyed the campus and I messed really well with the players. When I first got here, I ran a couple workouts with um, our old strength coach, Coach Dawson and realized I would be fatigued really fast and we went to the cardiologist that weekend come to find out that my heart murmur actually came back. So I was real devastated about that to realize that I would have to have another surgery, you know, just in order to work out with this team. I kind of felt left out, like I didn't get a chance to work out with them. I didn't really feel like I was a part of the team. So I ended up having the surgery and I went to go work out again and I realized that it came back. So right before the season started, I ended up having my third surgery for this heart murmur and it was a successful surgery and I ended up having a chance to come and play during training camp. O'Purin carries out of the 15 to the 10 and down to the five for the freshman. To come in through everything I worked through and um, find, find my way working at running back and then to hurt myself and realize that we have a new staff and they moved me over to linebacker. So it was frustrating at first, but it really was a humbling moment you know, you got to realize that they don't see you as that best option at that position and you got to do what's best for the team and we needed a lot of work at defensive end and linebacker so that's where I came in and ultimately have made my way, made it my home now. Well, I've always been a coachable player since I've been playing this game and, you know, I think that shows it right there, the fact that I've been able to move to multiple positions and just kind of do what's asked of me. Uh, you know, I usually could have pouted about it, maybe switch schools and you know, that's not how I handled the situation. I think I handled it as best I could and trust the coaches and players around me to put me in a position to help the team the best. Paha back to throw, sliding out, Ball's Ball's out. knocked away, loose ball, Tobin O'Purim. I think leadership kind of comes from multiple things, you know. Just being older, I feel like more of a leader with age and you, know, you got your experience and you got guys kind of looking up to you as a role model and you've got to be able to take responsibility for the good and bad that goes on. I got to credit Coach Wyatt really with the player I am today. Um, coming over, being really raw on the defensive side of the ball, which I hadn't played since my sophomore year in high school, he kind of was like dealing with, you know, someone who didn't know what they were doing at all. And the fact that he's helped polish me into the player I am today, I've got to give all my credit to him. Really, I want to see these young guys behind me and the guys who just got here, I want to see them grow and develop into better players than, you know, we are today. That's the only way that we'll get KU to improve is if the guys that are younger than us improve as well. So I want us to win a whole lot of games and watch the guys continue to do so after I leave here. And I think that'll kind of be my legacy after I leave here.